I'm Wole, and I'm here with my man, Felix Tramiel, for Fox Sports Radio 96.9 FM and 1340 AM, Hopewell, Virginia. It's the Washington Redskins postgame show. The Washington Redskins beat the we're hope, hope me, Felix. Detroit Lions <laughs> beat him by a score of 19 to 16. Thank you, Felix. I appreciate it. Thank you. you saved me. 19 no to 16. It's cold out here, folks. It's cold. <laughs> Work with me. Work with me. All right. This game was um, start. This game ended off with Dwayne Haskins being clutch, leading this team to a game-winning field goal to put him up 19 to 16. Your thoughts on the game? It it was it was a team effort. Mm -hmm. I think all the young players made a contribution. Yes. Haskins, McLaurin, uh -huh. Sims, Harmon, uh -huh. all those young guys decided losing, losing. They were tired of losing. Yeah. Definitely. So they it was a it was a game. It wasn't pretty mm -hmm. by no stretch of imagination. Stats aren't pretty, but the the best stat is the win, cool. and that's and that's what we got tonight. And that was the great to see. Yeah. It was just great to see. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it was a heartbeat from the team, mm -hmm. and the team showed it. Yes, definitely. Steven Sims Jr. had a big return for a touchdown to give the Skins a, 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 a decent lead in the game. Yeah. Was, I believe it was a 91-yard uh, kickoff Sir, return yeah, touchdown. Yeah. He actually got to speak with us, uh, so take a listen to the clip. I feel like you, go, you got the offense down. It feels no, I had the offense down. Okay. It's just slowing the game down. It's okay. a difference. Everybody out there moving. All you see is a blur. Then they line up, ball snap, they do something else. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. I'm slowing the game down. But that only comes with playing and opportunities playing. So it's a working what was going through your mind with that kick return? Because at first it was a little muff of the ball, but you recovered and took it all the way. Yeah, I was just trying to catch the ball on the run. And uh, I got ahead of the ball. It hit off my shoulder, and I just picked it up, seen the crease, and I just turned the speed on. That was your first. That was the longest one of your NFL career, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my second one. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like have your, is your moves instinctive? Like your spin move, do you like plot it out? Like I'm a spin here or just something that just comes natural to you? It, it comes natural feel of the game based on what they're doing, what I see. Today when I spent on the kick return, I just, I knew nobody, I seen out my peripheral, I seen him, but I didn't see nobody behind him. So I knew I could spin without getting hit and I have enough time to make the next guy miss. So that's pretty much what so I So what did. was in your mind once you saw the kicker? You were like, nah, it's not going to happen. Oh, no. <laughs> I really didn't see him. I blinked and I was past him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I blinked and I was past him. Yeah, he gave up. The only person who was catching was Kelvin. Yeah, Kelvin, yeah. Kel Kelvin was catching you. Kelvin was catching me. Kelvin came to catch me. But yeah, the ki kicker gave up. Yeah, and, Kel and Kelvin messed up my little touchdown celebration. <laughs> What's going to be a touchdown celebration? What's the plan? I can't show you. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Steven Sims Jr. was so excited that, like, he didn't even see the kicker. Like, it was he was a blur to him. When I saw the play, it was electrifying. I know we use that term a lot because we talked about 2012, you know, Griffin, RG, RG3. Electrifying. But, but that play was electrifying. And I and I said that from training camp day one, mm -hmm. Steven Sims. Everyone is, everyone is fascinated with Cam Sims and the mm -hmm, side. Mm -hmm. But Steven Sims... And no one watched him because he played at Kansas. Yeah. And, that, and that's understandable. Kansas yeah. and football don't usually go well together. That's true. That's but true. Steven Sims is a jewel in the rough, and he showed his ability. Yeah. He needs to play more. Mm -hmm. And you saw him play more on offense, and he mentioned that he said he's um, more comfortable on offense, that the game is slowing down for uh -huh. him. He's being utilized more. Yeah. He was subbing out with, with Trey Quinn, which needs to happen. Yeah. And, but he needs to return punts, too. Yeah, yeah, he definitely. needs to be the team's returner. Uh, yeah, I think we all agree with that. that like, just, I mean, Regardless of the fact, when that kid touches the football, he's electric. I think we all seen that. We've seen it over the last some odd weeks. This kid is a big, he's a big play talent, yeah, and he yeah. has to be on the field a little bit more. What I like, what I like, what I enjoyed seeing is the Redskins defense forcing turnovers. We saw Fabian Monroe get two interceptions. We saw Quentin Dunbar get yeah, a yeah. big interception to put this team in a position to, to, to win the game. Don't forget the don't forget the uh, fumble recovery yeah, by Monte Nicholson. By Monte Nicholson. Nicholson, Monte Nicholson with a fumble recovery. Like this team defensively brought something new to the table that we haven't seen in the prior weeks. I asked I asked Coach Callahan about that, and he said, you know, that was kind of the game plan to be more aggressive. And it showed that the defense attacked on third downs. They were not passive and sit back like they normally do. They, they sent players. Jimmy Moreland blitzed a few times, mm -hmm. and even though he didn't get credit for a sack, he had a ton of pressure. Forced Driscoll to either get sacked or throw the ball away, mm -hmm. but they were getting the Lions off the field. So mm -hmm. Lions statistically were the better team, but the, the Redskins defense just got them off the field. Yeah, I think situational football is everything. Yeah, Defensively, yeah, yeah. this team in terms of playing situational football was was ten times better than what we've seen in the past. Yes. Like yes. again, blitzing on third down. Yeah. Not being passed and letting teams eat, you know, get that first down rather than going and attacking and taking it away from the offense. Right. I love right. I love the mentality. Hopefully against 
their upcoming game against the Carolina Panthers, Panthers. they can have this type of this type of effect or impact against a Carolina Carolina Panther team that put 31 points against New Orleans Saints. Yeah, in I a mean, loss though, in a loss. In a loss, but they they go how McCaffrey goes, yes. and th that's got to be your number one option. But DJ Moore is, is, is coming out the win. Yeah, exactly. A local product from University of Maryland. Yes. He he had a big game today, mm -hmm. so that's going to be another weapon that they're going to have to watch because mm -hmm. the schedule does get more difficult. They got to go on the road the next two weeks in Carolina. Mm -hmm. Then they have to go to Green Bay mm -hmm. face Aaron Rodgers and yeah. former Redskin Preston Smith. Yes. They're having an amazing season. Yeah. So the, it doesn't get easier. But mm -hmm. you saw good things. Mm -hmm. And you're going to hear a narrative that Hask has played bad. You're going to hear that he's a bust. Yeah. None of those things are true. Yeah. You can see the proper quarterback plays being yeah. made. Mm -hmm. they, they, they do not always connect, yeah. but the proper quarterback plays being made. You can see him Go from a progression. It wasn't there. Uh, Hit the right person. Maybe they dropped it. Maybe he overthrew it. Yeah. But that's the right quarterback play. Yeah. And that's what you need to grow on. Just because it's not coming out the gate with 450-yard passing yeah. games and four touchdowns does not make anyone a bust. Yeah. All right? So make sure we understand that. But Haskins played well. You can see the process is going. He had two throws he wants back. He, he missed McLaurin on two touchdowns with yeah. a probably – make this game a lot easier, yeah. but Haskins played well, so when you hear that narrative, dismiss it. Agreed. I mean, I think my key my key takeaway about Dwayne Haskins in this game is that, to me, he has a clutch gene. I mean, regardless of the fact he he missed passes, and any, for any quarterback, you can miss passes, you can let that, you know, snowball in, t in terms of having a bad game. But he, had, he made big plays down the stretch. That key third down, third down conversion to McLaurin to pretty much put this team in field goal range, I mean, you know, that's clutch. That's a clutch team mentality. And don't and don't ever forget that that scramble early on that drive. Exactly. Show, and one of our guys mentioned that he was a gamer. Mm. Haskins is a gamer. Yeah. He competes. Mm -hmm. He wants to win. He wants to fight, fight for his team. Yeah. And that's what he did today. Yeah. Well, hopefully, again, hopefully this continues this momentum for the young kid. Hopefully, again, he can get to a point where we can see him have a 300-yard passing game, a couple more touchdowns. That can happen. I see that in this future. Again, it's all about progressing. You stated it before. Again, he made a miss throws. He made the right quarterback play. Right. So hopefully, against the Carolina Panthers, when they go on the road, they can he can he can improve on that. The defense can improve on that. And we hopefully, I'm not gonna say it's against W, but we'll see a better play. We we, we better we, we see better we, play. You want your team to be competitive. Yeah. If if the Redskins are competitive and don't win, that's that's a win all around. Yeah. If they win the game, of course that's a win. Yeah. You just don't want to see them with the efforts that they had early in the season. Yeah. The you know the the, the Patriots game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know you don't want games like that where it's just listless. Mm -hmm. The Jets game for the first half, like, yeah. it was just listless. Yeah. So you want to see that. Have the offense include Harmon more. Mm -hmm. Include so give McLaurin that that dual threat. Mm -hmm. Use Sims on offense yep. as a receiver. Mm -hmm. He has game breaking speed, mm -hmm. and that needs to be utilized. It's not just straight line. He's quick side to side. Mm -hmm. You need to use that in the slot. Mm -hmm. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. Well, I'm, we're happy for Skins W. Finally. Finally. At home. It's the been skin, over a year. I know. The Skins, the skins have gotten a W at home. Well, anyway, I'm Wole Kinso. I'm Felix Trammell. We're signing off for Fox Sports Radio 1340 AM, Hopewell, Virginia. And, my matter of fact, 96.9 FM, Hopewell, Hopewell, Virginia. I would say for ages. I just want you to say my early right. sports anything, but I can't say that. Well, deuces. Deuces.